Welcome to the Mercy Distal Access Catheter Training Video. This training video will help you understand the preparation and use of the Mercy Distal Access Catheter in conjunction with the Mercy Retrieval System. The Mercy Distal Access Catheter is indicated for use in facilitating the insertion and guidance of an occlusion catheter, infusion catheter, or other appropriate microcatheter into a selected blood vessel in the peripheral, coronary, and neurovascular systems. It may also be used as a diagnostic angiographic catheter. The Mercy Distal Access Catheter is designed to supply you with more robust distal access to tortuous anatomy, such as the intracranial vasculature, by providing distal support to the wire and microcatheter system. Although this training video concentrates on the use of the Mercy Distal Access Catheter in conjunction with the Mercy Retrieval System, there may be other applications where the Mercy Distal Access Catheter may be useful. The following is a list of features and benefits of using the Mercy Distal Access Catheter. 3.3 French lumen for device delivery. 4.3 French outer diameter. Braided wall construction for pushability and kink resistance. Radiopaque shaft and distal marker band for enhanced visibility. PTFE liner for reduced internal friction. Hydrophilic coating of the distal section for enhanced lubricity. And four segments of varying flexibility for distal deliverability. Prior to using the Mercy Distal Access Catheter, flush the packaging hoop containing the catheter with heparinized saline prior to removal from the packaging hoop. Once properly hydrated, carefully remove the catheter from the packaging hoop and inspect the catheter thoroughly, assuring that the system is not kinked or otherwise damaged. If there is any notable damage, replace the catheter with a new device and report the system as damaged to your local concentric medical sales representative or call our customer service department. Attach the included rotating hemostatic valve, or RHV, to the catheter hub each Mercy Distal Access Catheter comes supplied with a 7 cm long RHV. A shorter rotating hemostatic valve enables more microcatheter working length. Flush the RHV and catheter with heparinized saline prior to use. Once the catheter is hydrated, do not allow the catheter to dry out. Between uses, place the catheter in a basin of heparinized saline to maintain hydration. Using standard interventional techniques and following the instructions for use, you would at this point have the Mercy Balloon Guide catheter placed into the distal internal carotid artery below the internal carotid artery siphon. Once the Mercy Balloon Guide catheter is in place, insert the combination of your 14 thousandths of an inch to 18 thousandths of an inch guide wire of choice, Mercy Microcatheter and Mercy Distal Access Catheter into the RHV of the Mercy Balloon Guide Catheter. Advance the wire, microcatheter, and Mercy Distal Access Catheter to the distal tip of the Mercy Balloon Guide Catheter. Optimum distal access support may be obtained by using a telescoping technique during the advancement of the wire, microcatheter, and Mercy distal access catheter through tortuous anatomy. Note the telescoping technique utilized to navigate through the simulated carotid siphon and proximal M1 takeoff of the middle cerebral artery. Note that this system configuration is now a triaxial system. The maximum working length of the Mercy Distal Access Catheter beyond the Mercy Balloon Guide Catheter is approximately 20 centimeters. The maximum working length of the Mercy Microcatheter beyond the tip of the Mercy Distal Access Catheter is approximately 11 centimeters. Once the system has reached the proximal face of the clot, use standard technique to cross the clot with the guide wire and Mercy Microcatheter. Once the wire and microcatheter have crossed the clot, 
exchange the guide wire for your choice of Mercy Retriever. Deploy the Mercy Retriever distal to the clot. Once deployed, pull tension on the retriever and microcatheter to engage the distal face of the clot. Place the locking torque device onto the proximal end of the Mercy Retriever and advance it to the RHV of the microcatheter prior to locking it in place. Using fluoroscopy, ensure the microcatheter is held just proximal to the loops of the Mercy Retriever per standard retrieval practice. This fluoroscopic image illustrates the proper placement of the Mercy Distal Access Catheter in relation to the microcatheter and Mercy Retriever. In preparing to retrieve the clot, ensure that the Mercy Distal Access Catheter is in line and just proximal to the position of the clot. As tension is applied to the retriever and microcatheter, make sure to maintain and manage the position of the Mercy Distal Access Catheter. As tension is applied to the retriever, the Mercy Distal Access Catheter will move distally as slack is removed from the system. As this occurs, you will need to retract the Mercy Distal Access Catheter in order to keep it from engaging the proximal face of the clot. Being a triaxial system, proper hand placement will aid in the positioning of the various layers of the system. Note the suggested hand position shown here to aid in positioning of the system. This suggested hand position allows you to move each of the four components individually. As the clot becomes dislodged from the vessel wall, retract the retriever, microcatheter, and distal access catheter as a system to the balloon guide catheter. You will get a sense of the clot being dislodged when you see the retriever's distal loops maintaining their shape while at the same time moving proximally toward the internal carotid artery. As the clot, retriever, microcatheter, and Mercy distal access catheter are being retracted through the middle cerebral artery, past the anterior cerebral artery and into the internal carotid artery, begin vigorously aspirating with a 60 cc syringe through the Mercy Balloon Guide Catheter while retracting the system and clot into the Mercy Balloon Guide Catheter. The Mercy Distal Access Catheter, Microcatheter, and Retriever that capture the clot are removed through the Balloon Guide Catheter. Contact your local concentric medical sales representative to practice using the Mercy Distal Access Catheter on our training model.